How's it going everyone? I'm Arazus got 365 and welcome to part 7 of our game dev tycoon let's play. Just released Final Quest Fight 420. Oh. Yeah, this is um talking about what we um did about the pirated copies. These not as recent Lee sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of the fi game Final Quest Fight for Tony. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. Okay, we have gained 198 fans. Not too bad. Alright. We're just sitting around. Don't have any research points or anything, so we're just going to start a sequel, I guess. Let's see what we have. Do something really old, even if it doesn't work too well. Let's see. I guess we'll do a fall in two. Um, it's, <laughs> oh my god, I can't spell, it's everyday bro, that's pretty topical right there, I guess we'll just have an E on the play system, saps engine, 3D graphics v2, nice, recording this pretty late, so that's why I'm uh, pretty quiet, even more so than usual. Sliders are about right. I think we just released a uh, RPG, but um, oh, well, I don't care to back out. Turn engine off. I mean, save game off. Uh, no, can't do that. Keep everything for storing quests, which can be handled by Bill. Yes, Ralph can do gameplay again, and Deborah has engine. We'll get Pauline to do that, actually, since it doesn't matter too much. Alright, build a little hype. Alright, TES-64 released, and G3. So we're going to get probably just a little over, yeah, 225,000. Not bad. Build up that hype. Still haven't made it into the top 100 yet. Oh, you have a... Got a strong audience match. That's nice. Probably don't want to do marketing this early. Alright. Let's see. High dialogues. High level design. Probably that's about fine. Level design. Dialogues. Guess we don't have any options for um, artificial intelligence at all, which is interesting. Anyone better? Anyone better? No. Still highest design. Me. Myself. I'll do dialogues. Bill has level design and Ralph has... That's not right. Pauline can do that as well. A little earlier than I usually do it, but probably get... I don't know, a small campaign or something to just slowly... Well, just uh, quicken the pace of that hype. Of course, I uh, forget to um, set the timer of the video, hilariously. Have it in my hand literally every time. Just set it for like five minutes or something. It's going to be a pretty short one. Um, not that I'm tired or anything, just that it's rather late. I just had like... I'll get graphics, Bill can get... Someone else do it, actually? Alright, Ralph will do that. Um... No. Pauline can do... Ah, dang. Pauline can do sound, actually. Pauline can do sound. Uh, that sets the budget. Yeah, put it to 100. Pauline can do sound. Uh, Ralph can do world design and... Pauline... Can do both graphic and sound. Seems fine, I guess. Kind of having some trouble, um... 
dealing with that today. All right, Final Quest Fight 420 is now off the market. It sold 232,901 units, generating 2,573,007 2, in sales. Credits, that is, they call it, I believe. Some funny Australian currency. No, I'm kidding. Interesting, we have more, a lot more technology points than we do design, actually, which is kind of unusual for um, an RPG. It's usually the other way around. Oh, well. It's a um, record in both of them, though, I believe, so that's fine. Don't want to... Uh, Keep it on the burner too long, release it so the hype doesn't start going down. Alright, leveled up a bunch of things. Deborah has as well. Increase of eleven thousand dollars, forty-three grand a month now. Yeah. Alright, we unlocked Easter eggs, AI companions, 3D graphics v3, and soundtrack. We'll try and instantly unlock. No, we'll probably unlock a topic and then nah, we'll do what we have. Release those games successfully. Now we are, we shall develop a new one, a casual virtual pet game for the gameling. Saps, young, medium, animals. <laughs> nice. 3D graphics v2 again. Market has normalized, which is fine. We weren't even releasing a e game. First reviews for Fallen 2, it's every day, bro, came in. I've been watching a lot of Jake Ball memes, honestly. It's every day, bro, memes. Pretty, um, hit game, though. Better than the original, I believe. The, uh, original was, like, an average of 6, I think. Uh, 8.25 for this one, which is great. No engine. Uh, high gameplay. And very little story. Turn all that off. Turn all the ending stuff off and just allocate everything to gameplay. Pauline has engine. All right. Ralph has gameplay again. And Bill has stories. That's fine. Selling an okay amount. Bring up the um, hole. Just go right in the coffers. These Nuts has recently released a sequel to their game, Fall In. The newest game in the series, titled Fall In 2, It's Every Day Bro, was met with great responses. Critics praise that Fallen 2, it's everyday bro, had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Alright, we'll be able to release, not release, research 3D Graphics V3 now, which is great. I'll get dialogues, yes. Bill can get... I want to, um, do all this actually first. So, um, I, I don't think it's dialogues important and, um, casual. Level design definitely is though. Probably something like that. That would be a hundred. That's fine. Bill can get level design, yep. I'll get dialogues and Pauline. Not no reason for me to get it. Ralph can. Good old Ralph. And Pauline can get artificial intelligence. That's fine. Send Bill on a vacation quickly. Market, I suppose. Probably just like something quick to um, build it up a bit. I'm not sure if that was worth it at all. Um, what do they call it? Super TES, I think they just call it. Going off the market. That's a timer. Alright, release um, probably another game after this and then we'll finish this up. Alright. What do we want for casual? Probably max graphics and then high sound, eh? Something like that. Don't need all this uh, world design stuff. All right, let's see here. I'll get graphics. Um, and design, I guess. Pauline. Can I get sound? Yes, I can just get sound. So I'll do literally everything for this development sa stage. That's fine. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good on money right now. Not, could be worse, definitely. Um, yeah. I'm glad we caught that we weren't using, 
uh, 3D graphics when we did because it could have definitely been a lot worse because we got pretty late late into the game without uh, yeah Super NES TES sorry is no longer supported okay got pretty late into the game without actually making a second engine all right generated three million in sales all right that's probably all we're gonna get out of uh, post production I guess new topic new combo good management leveled up a bunch of stuff and build J Allen no records though that's not a good sign advanced cutscenes rich backstory speaking of that research 3d graphics v3 and then just some little other thing what do we want probably AI companions then we'll generate a game report so we can uh, get a little bit more research points. First reviews. Yeah, not great. Not great at all. Not sure why that was, actually. Hmm. That's a good thing about um, game reports as well, because even if something does fail, I've gone over this a little bit in a previous episode. Well, it wasn't too terrible either. It was six. That's above average. Even if something does fail, you can, um, or don't do as well as you expect, or sell as much as you would have liked, you can, um, figure out what went wrong, kind of, what, what's, um, you know, how to allocate, uh, time, pretty much. Research some more, um, Easter eggs, and, well, virtual pet, casual, great combination, world design, not important. And rich backstory, why not? And then we'll probably let's see what what do we have here to research left? Soundtrack and advanced cutscenes, 80 research points. Probably another game, and then we'll um another game or, or two, and then we'll release a new engine. There we go, rich backstory and um Easter eggs. There we go, great. So yeah, one more game, I guess, for this episode. We just released... We'll do the tried and true fantasy RPG play system. Sapsha Engine E. Um, Saps. <laughs> Lol, I messed up. Okay. Just like my... Just like my, oh well, whatever. Okay, 3D Graphics V2. Yeah, ANMLs. <laughs> nice, rank 98, sold 100,021 units. Not the best, but okay. Engine's uh, like a quarter, I think. That's all right. Everything for stories and quests. Nothing for engine. I'll do save game for, uh, Role-playing purposes. Get rid of better user interface. Uh, Pauline has engine. Ralph. Gameplay. Bill. I'll do, uh, since it's import the most important, all the stories and quest, actually. Alright. Yeah, we are adding a lot, lot more technology points than design, which usually doesn't happen. I guess we should uh, train our employees, though. We will do an in interview. Focus more on engine or world design for um, a fantasy RPG game. Definitely world design. I've memorized what you should focus on over the years. Yeah. Agree with the... Uh-huh. So basically, we... um. It was just asking what you should allocate. What resources you should... Time you should allocate to everything and... For um, RPG, it's much more focused on design than technology, so it would be world design instead of whatever it was asking, artificial intelligence or something. Right recorder there, high dialogues. I think I'll handle um, another design element again. Bill has level design though, and Pauline has artificial intelligence. Fantastic. Send Ralph on vacation all right yeah we're definitely gonna need to release more than one well there's still another cycle but probably gonna need to release more than or rather um, another game 
to get um, 80 research points. All right, let's see. Tons of world design. Tons of graphic. I mean, sound rather. And I'll just leave some there to see if. I'm not sure if like you put it in different slider positions. Like if you do different ones each time, it'll tell you like, hey, you should probably put it here or something. That's what I think though. Yeah, just get all world design in there. Stereo sound in there. All right, nothing to add for graphics yet. Yeah, two way 191 percent. Okay. Yeah, get Bill to um focus on world design. Ralph to focus on graphics and sound as well. There we go. No one's working too hard. Just hardly working. All right. Lol, I messed up. Just like my. G3 convention, 250,000 instead of 225,000 last time. Still not in um, 100, top 100 though, hilariously. Yeah, I think we'll um, focus everyone on research and design. R&D. Yeah, scam for... Um, I'm not sure if it actually works. I, I think it does. A scam to um, unlock... Yeah, research information or something. Never gone to that. I've always been like, no, that's definitely a scam, just like I would in real life, you know, so. Should probably try it one day. The day Vina fans have waited a long time for has arrived as Vina has announced their next generation console, the DreamVast. A company spokesman said, the DreamVast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. A new console sports powerful graphics hardware, promising graphics quality, Rivaling those on high-end PCs, the DreamVast is also the first console to ship with a modem out of the box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. Nice. Yeah, the Dreamcast um, was not a bad console at all. I've never played it personally or had it, but um, yeah, it was pretty a pretty decent console in of in of itself. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm, I should really research that. Um, why Sega still failed. It was pretty good. Yeah, more modern office upgraded computer sounds great. So this is like the um, more modern era where you're starting to um, get like late game. This is like medium late game right now. Like sooner the um, Xbox 360 and that type of thing is going to start being released. Alright, random 5, 5, random 7, 6. Not the best scores, but, um, um, oh, I guess we're already doing a game report, yeah. Might be able to squeeze 80 out of that. Dear D's not since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year, where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way for game developers to learn developers to learn something new you're welcome to join in at any time there are no prizes but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills the g3 committee so yeah another um um branch of training options tier i guess you could say oh man just short engine not important platform play system everyone great topic fantasy everyone great um, fantasy is great with every age bracket though. I think we'll actually quickly quickly do a um, contract work. Yeah, we get in the tutorial bit because we've never done it. Something super quick so we'll get research. Uh, <coughs> the research points. Yeah, there we go. Just need two more. Not sure what the penalty was. There we go. All right, we're going to make it with a bit of time this prior. All right, 79 the, grand in the account, not much. Yeah, new contracts every six months or so. All right, so now we'll be able to research. Yeah, it was both of these things. Um, soundtrack. There's another um, 40 research thing got added. Since we don't have much for story and quest, though, and that's what we focus on, we'll do advanced cutscenes. But um, since we are idling here right now i think this is a good time to end um the episode here we um are, are doing pretty well um 
we uh, reached a new era, reached another office rather, and we're doing pretty good. Um, things are going to get pretty interesting. And also, I forgot to mention, but I actually got not one but two cats today. Um, already had a cat um, for a couple months now. Got it. It was a bit too young, honestly, but um, yeah, I got it. Um, it's been fine. H hadn't been like trying to wean everything or whatever. Not messed up or something. Got two um, kittens today, though, because um, was was just searching for one. Was searching for one white adult cat, actually. You know, to kind of have another cat for hours to um, that we already have to play with that type of thing. But yeah, we've ended up looking on Craigslist, driving over there. Um, because it, it fell through, it was like, it got adopted by, um, a rescue before we got there, you know. So, um, yeah, we go there, we get, from Craigslist, we go to someone's house, we get, we're looking at both these two different cats that we're really interested in, and then my mom's like, um, get both. And then, so we grab the two of them, put them in our kennel, bring them home. So, yeah, tonight we, um, have a, um, cat, two extra cats. Which is nice. I'm gonna do some more stuff, buy them some things in the morning. But um, anyway, pretty long story. But um, thank you all very much for watching. Have a good.